Good, Good morning. morning from Grand Turk. I think we're here. We are. Uh, the ship is actually still wiggling a little bit, which mm -hmm. is funny. You can tell how windy it is outside because it's just butting us up against the pier. <laughs> Um, but we are going to wander up, have some breakfast, take a peek outside, and see what's going on. We've dressed for the beach. It's a 100% chance 100. of thunderstorms for the entire time we're supposed to be here. But yeah. we're optimistic that it's going to be fine because it's like one of our favorite ports. So. We don't trust you, weatherman. <laughs> we need to see it with our own eye holes first. So we'll take everything out yeah. and go look. But and hopefully it's nice. 100% <laughs> from now until 3 o'clock. And our back on board is 2.30. Yeah. It mm -hmm. happens. You gotta have a plan B, you know? That's true. We'll see what so, let's go eat. I think I'm only gonna take the GoPro up to breakfast because if I'm getting off the ship, I'm not taking this camera. No. So we'll take the GoPro, see what's up, and reevaluate our lives. Yeah. Let's go. See you in a minute. <laughs> we are sheltered between the two ships right now, but as soon as you come out of there, you will feel that wind and rain. Let's have a wander out to the aft pool deck and look around. I need some outsiding in my life. Oh, it looks glorious out here. Well, the good news is you can get any chair around the pool that you want today. So, bonus. We've come up to the gym now, man. People are heading ashore. Y'all, we're gonna give it a try. Try number two. Woo it looked like it was clearing up when we were in the gym mm -hmm. in bits and pieces. But I really wanna go see, let's go make hay while the sun shines. I it's didn't hear any thunder, I didn't see any lightning. And if you're gonna be in the water, you're gonna be wet anyway. Yeah. So let's just go snork. Hopefully, yeah. Come on. Come on. So gangway is on deck A. All aboard is 2.30. Whoosh. A few sprinkles in the air, but not nearly as bad as it was earlier. Let's see if it holds up. Now the fish don't have to cry. They're like, there's the, she's Yay! coming to see us. I'm excited. Now in through the duty-free shop. There's all the tour meeting zones. We'll just hang a left and a left and off to the beach we go. Oh, I hear somebody blowing into a shell. Speaking of, they've got all these clamshell things over these chairs. These are not included, but there are some free beach chairs out Look here. Look at me that. Made it down to the back of the flow rider now. All right, here's a bunch of chairs down here. So as you walk along down here, the people will ask you, would you like a chair and umbrella down by the water? Which if you'd like to pay for that, that's fantastic. But we do love these free chairs. We don't mind being a little bit off the water. See, it's not bad. Just on the back side of this little rope, all these chairs, there's our ship and there's our beach. Metal oh, nice. Hopefully they find some treasures. Hello ocean. All right, let's test our temperature. We've got our water shoes on because we do usually use those here. Not as bad as Oh, that's not bad. Okay. There she goes. Off to see her friends. It is time for a Grand Turk spin. Dia's back there laughing, talking to her friends. It is shallow today. I think we're at low tide. Anyway, whoosh, let's complete our spin. Sergeant Major friends have already shown up to see me. People are yelling in the background because, you know, maybe they're scared of Sergeant Majors. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of you. <laughs> Fish army. You can see all the way down to the Jack Shack area, which I think they are open under new management from the old days. That's been a couple of years now, I think. And the little, what they call the local village where you can sign up for tours, rent chairs with umbrellas. We found some random like hard plastic pieces floating in the ocean. So I guess we'll take those out. Our little fish army friends are not too pleased. So, I mean, they're pleased that we're removing it from their, their home, so. <laughs> Amsterdam is not really a new ship. She was launched, I believe, in 2010. Not to be confused with New Statendam, which is a ship we've sailed before, which is a much newer ship. 
whenever they release a new ship, they should put new on the beginning of it. And then a couple of years later, just scratch it off. So this one should just be called the Amsterdam now. And they should have like the new Statendam, the new Koenigsdam, and the new Rotterdam. So that way you look at them and you're like, oh, I know that that's a new ship because it says new. That's the awful idea, isn't it? Ah, uh, old Amsterdam. <laughs> Oh, nice. Dee went looking for the anchor and she found fish away, and a reef squid. You can stand right here. Yeah, well, it's, it's pretty shallow all the way out until you hit Beautiful the drop off. drops all right and so just to reiterate how this whole chair situation works because it's changed since you know pre-covid when we used to come here from what i understand all the chairs from the pier all the way down are free to use unless they have a clamshell which i think you have to rent through carnival so all this free 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 then there's a break and you get this sign that says local village all these green umbrella and the ones all the way down to the jack check area and beyond those are the ones that you would rent and pay the local vendors for but all this stuff up here close to the ships it's included <laughs> Here's Science D over there giving lessons about parrot fish and how they make sand. <laughs> I'd say that's not necessarily my favorite nature random trivia fact, but it's a solid number two. found berry giant grandpa berry <laughs> wow i want to say he's at least like three three and a half feet like big i remember last time i was here one just swam right by me randomly it's huge i'm sure he just lives around here but he's on the south, other side of the rope so he can't come in here i'm just Clearly, kidding the rope is gonna stop him yeah <laughs> but he's he's kind of far down but beautiful to look at just don't wear anything shiny there are a few places you can still sneak out and see the drop off inside the rope here ever since they moved it. This is one of those. Dee's found some reef squid friends again. <laughs> We have got blue skies. I was not expecting to see those today, but they are a welcome sight. Well, we've navigated all the little rocks and pitfalls and made our way to the shore. We've wandered up to the pool zone now. Oh yeah, foot washy washy. There's the official pool rules. We have found the party. Got the flow rider in full effect. That's an upcharge, of course. They're good. Yeah, they are. These might be some of the instructors. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's why they're so good. 100% it is. Well, we've come down to the zero entry slope area because that's nice, easy access. Oh, the temperature is actually pretty nice. Uh oh, how low can you go? Not low enough. Woohoo! We got little tables here in the pool in case you need some beverages. We can watch more flow rider excitement. 
That's funny. The lady up at the party bar just said, do we have anybody from New Amsterdam here? And it was deathly quiet. And then she said, Carnival Freedom, let me hear you. And the crowd went nuts. Woo! Yeah, they just did a medley over at the bar. I know you couldn't hear it, but I have to be on the honor system. They just played Sweet Caroline over here at the Grand Turk Bar, so let's mark the counter up by one, shall we? <laughs> uh, they moved on to YMCA now. Oh, I can get into the Tonto Jump on it. It's got spins built into it. Oh, yeah. Are they cha cha over there? Oh, my gosh. Well, we're just making our own little dance party over here in the quiet section. See, I think what happens is that's become the carnival pool over there. This is the Holland America pool. Welcome, everybody. Can you go low? How low can you go? Oh, no. Hopefully not too low. You need your snorkel to go lower than that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep, time to exit water mode for the day. Now we will do a little drip drying and then head back to the ship, I guess. The rains have held off, which is awesome. Oh, it is time to bid the party pool goodbye. Well, it feels like the winds have picked up just a little bit. We might have chosen a good time to come back to the ship. Yeah. Welcome home. Oh, look at my little friend at the end of the hall. We are having a bit of a working lunch today in the cabin, so we've got room service, which is included. So we got a chicken quesadilla, we've got a caprese sandwich with chips and slaw, some three bean chili, and some fruit. Good evening. Good evening, it is dinner time. Time to do that thing. We don't have anything to talk about from earlier <gasps> yes, today because nothing <laughs> happened that was amazing. I'm so glad we decided to get off the ship. Grand Turk is one of my favorite snorkel spots. You just never know what you're gonna see. I saw so much variety from like one of the biggest barracudas I've ever seen Ooh. to an eel, reef squid, a variety of parrotfish, and it was just all in a matter of like a couple feet from each other, which is what the beauty is of Grand Turk. Yeah. I love it so much. It was great. You're hard pressed to get us away from that beach. Yeah. <laughs> So good day overall. Thanks amazing. to Grand Turk for being Grand Turk. <laughs> uh, we're going to dinner now. So MDR, yeah. I think it's Caribbean night at the buffet and there's a little bit of Caribbean mm -hmm. theme carrying over to the MDR. Um, after that, who knows? There's a show yeah. in the main lounge tonight that involves steel pans. Probably can't record it, but well, Jay's super pumped for we'll it. We'll see. I'll enjoy it because then yeah. I'll officially be on vacation. Because you know when I hear that steel drum or steel pan, maybe we can record it. We'll see. I'll say so. Let's roll out. Let's do it. Autobots. <laughs> do stuff. Welcome back to dining room. All right, we've got our table also right here by the window because we are early birds. Looks like early birds get the good views. as we make our way forward on deck two. Billboard on board, and of course, this shiny place. Ooh. Now, next up, we are waiting for the doors to open for A Taste of Steel, which is a musical journey of how the steel pan came into existence. Whoop, doors are open. Look at that glowing purple steel pan down there, and that amazing graphic artwork. I'm excited. Guys, one thing we noticed, they have cup holders that pull out of the armrests of these seats. Oh, it's mad magic. Tonight after the show, we've got music going on around the ship, but right here, welcome to A Taste of 
steel. Tonight, you're going to be taken on a musical journey through what was once a disused oil pan, through oppression, through strife. This musical instrument was invented in the 20th century. If you want to get up and dance, you can. If you want to just sit back and live in the music, you can. Please make some noise for our steel pan sensation, Alexander! In a space of 15, 20 years, they went from just beating rhythm on, on thrown away garbage to having created an orchestra. Today's show is about this beautiful instrument, the steel pan. Some of you may know it as a steel drum. And it originated from the Twin Republic of Trinidad and Tobago in the West Indies. to the cabin to find a uh, bootylicious bunny. <laughs> wow. A little bootylicious friend. Uh, we've also got a towel swap out because we only used one towel today. Um, papers for tomorrow and of course time change. We are jumping an hour into the future tonight so that we can match San Juan time. Good, Good night. night. Y'all we are back in the cabin. That show was the best steel pan show I've seen tonight. Ever. It was. I don't know yeah, if I've ever actually we haven't seen one, but a steel pan presentation. That was cool. What I liked about it was they talked about the history of it, yeah. and like he can play everything because he studied like a lot of different types of music, but not Caribbean music, oddly enough. Oh yeah, that's what he said. I didn't record a lot of the talking. I yeah. mostly recorded the steel pan parts. But it was so good. Yeah. He was very talented, and um, his name's Alex Xander. Alex A L X Xander. That's right. Yeah, very cool. I guess we got to dig into dinner. Yes. Is that about it? Yeah, then we're going to retire. <gasps> okay, you started off with some seafood deviled eggs. Yeah, these were good. It's one egg cut in half. <laughs> so it's not a very large appetizer. Seafood deviled egg. With a little bit of seafood. I feel like it's like crab on one and mm -hmm. like salmon on the other. I've had them before and they were a little more flavorful on another ship, but they're still good. Yeah. Nice. I had the Jamaican beef patty. Now flavorful this was. It had a nice little yellow curry type thing going on with some ground beef. Very simple, but very effective. I like the flavors. I forget what was underneath it. It was various, um, you know, vegetable things that were cut up, kind of a slaw to go with it, but I like it. And it was big. It was big. Love a big appetizer. You had the shrimp. What was it? Fancy words. Chili prawns. There you go. Yeah, chili prawns with black rice and like a spinach kind of thing. Um, mm. This was really good. I thought it was going to be super spicy. It's not, it's like zingy, but not overwhelmingly spicy. I love the black rice. It kind of had like a nutty flavor to it, which was really, really good. Mm. And everything was cooked perfectly. How did they make black rice? Does it grow that way? I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> it's good though. Rice. I had some pork belly, spiced pork belly. I decided to keep it sort of themed to, I guess, what were the Caribbean elements. So this was fantastic, I gotta say. It had a little sweet potato stuff going on. It had a little, another little cut up vegetable medley relish. <laughs> but the pork belly, it had been cooked down. No, the meat itself was a little chewy. I'll give it that. But the skin had been rendered down, so it was crunchier than my teeth, and I loved it. I could just crunch, 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 and chew on it. 
You crunch your teeth very often. <laughs> Tonight I did. Okay. That skin was fantastic. Mm -hmm. So it was. Mm. There is your. It looks like a popsicle on a stick. It's like <laughs> no sugar added <laughs> mango mousse, maybe okay. something like that. I don't think I've ever had this before. Let me tell you, the Holland America no sugar added desserts are my favorite of any cruise line I've ever had. They're all so good you wouldn't actually know that they have no extra sugar in them. Nice. Um, delicious mangoey flavor, really nice uh, texture to the mousse. It wasn't weird or anything and the cookie was yummy. Oh yeah, see, because it wasn't a stick, it was a cookie. Yeah. <laughs> it really does look like it was on a stick. It was great. I had another bread pudding. Now this bread pudding was nice. It was Jamaican in theme. Um, it was basically a rum sauce over a raisin bread pudding that had a little bit of chocolate in the bottom. It does pale in comparison to that hazelnut one that I had the other night. That was delicious. This one, I probably would skip it. It was a solid bread pudding, a little dry, but I'm glad I got it. But you could have had bread pudding two days ago that was better. So there yeah. you go. <laughs> There's and your I tip. Did, so. Do the first one. Order the hazelnut one. Maybe skip the Jamaica yeah, one. Get the whiskey tort instead. Probably. I've had that before. It's good. Uh, mm -hmm. That's yeah. my go-to usually. I'll get that next time. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, you know, it's nighttime. Yeah, so. it was a great day though. It was. Join us for another great day. Tomorrow. Hopefully, tomorrow. The weather looking weird again. 100% chance of rain. So we'll see how it goes. We picked a very good week uh, for cruising <laughs> in the Eastern Caribbean this week. But you know what? It's part of the journey. Gotta roll with the punches. And the waves. And the waves. That's not bad. Y'all, we're going good to bed. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye.